Conroy, your time has elapsed. Senator Lazarus. Thank you, Acting Deputy President. The Senate is the, the final stop for the consideration and debate of bills which impact on the people of Australia. And as a Senator for Queensland, I consider every bill on the basis of whether it will be benefit or beneficial to the people of Queensland. If, it's, if it doesn't, I won't support it. If it does, but it needs a, uh, improvement, I will amend it. In my time in this House, I've acted with honesty and diligence and have done the hard yards for the people of Queensland. And despite the threats of a double disillusion by Malcolm Turnbull, I will not change my approach. The people of Australia come first, not multinational mining companies, not the Chinese government, not the big end of town. The people of Australia do. If the Turnbull government wants to get bills through the Senate, my advice to Malcolm and his colleagues is start writing better bills. Start writing better bills which will benefit the people of Australia, not the rest of the world. Yes, I agree voting needs to be reformed. But the dirty deal done by the Coalition and the Greens delivers extreme reform which will wipe out any chance of everyday Australians being able to enter politics in the future through the Senate. This is not what I call a democratic process. This delivers a system whereby only the rich will be able to enter politics by buying their way in through advertising and the publicity. Malcolm Turbo wants to turn Australia into America. Oh, I see the bully in the pack meter back. Waka, waka, waka. This delivers a system whereby the rich will be able to enter politics by buying their way through advertising and publicity. Malcolm Turnbull wants to turn Australia into America, heaven forbid. He wants to deregulate higher education, he wants to privatise Medicare, and now he wants to reduce access to, to uh, politics to the wealthy. Everyday Australians are going to miss out in this dirty deal. Once the new voting reforms have been rammed through the Senate, the Turnbull government will then go to a double disillusion. Because they are scared, if they wait, that they may lose too many seats due to their waning popularity. 